This DIY came as a viewer request and I thought it was a pretty cool project. It took a while to get all the supplies together, but I was finally able to film it, so let's get started. For this DIY you'll need a metal ceramic or terracotta planter with an edge, four cheap frames which you'll need the glass from. You can get them from the dollar store. They won't shatter from the heat because they aren't tempered glass. You'll also want to make sure that the glass matches the size of the planter that you have. Mesh grill toppers, clear silicone sealant, scissors and a marker, real flame gel fuel, I found this on Amazon, some rocks, but you can also use fire glass, but it was a bit more expensive, and a lighter. If you're not old enough, please ask someone that is old enough for help with this project. Start by removing the glass from the frames. Once you have all your glass pieces, start assembling them together with a silicone. Place a bead of silicone along the edge of the glass and put two edges of the glass together. You'll end up making a box out of the glass. I ended up flipping the glass upright. It was much easier to glue the pieces together. To make the process easier, you can use heavier objects to keep the glass upright and in place. Glue the last piece into place and let everything dry for 45 minutes. The planter I got ended up being way too tall so I filled it with a couple of boxes for the time being until I can fill it with some sand or gravel. While the glass is drying, measure your mesh grill topper so that you have just enough room to let it sit on the edge of the planter. Then use some scissors or wire cutter if you need to and cut it down. When the glass box of emotions is dry, you're ready to assemble the pieces together. Lay a continuous bead of silicone around the entire rim of the glass. Then carefully turn the glass box of emotions over and put it into place on the edge of the planter. You can also go in again with the sealant to give it a little bit of extra security. I also used my fingers to give it a smoother edge. Let it dry for about an hour. When it's dry, put the gel fuel on the bottom, the mesh grill topper in place, and then put all the rocks on top. Just make sure that you leave space around where the gel fuel is so that the rocks don't get too hot. They have the potential to crack or break, but if you're using fire glass, you shouldn't run into this problem. Light your fire and you're done. Thanks to the subscriber who suggested to do this project. It was so much fun. And thanks for watching my newest video. If you liked it, let me know. And check back soon for some more videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. See you again soon. Bye.